Welcome back, Wolfpack, to the channel, to Legacy of the Dragonborn. So first and foremost, I wanted to apologize for the stutter on my game. Um, I... I don't know what happened. Well, I do know what happened, but um, it's my computer. You know, my computer is, you know, unfortunately, like, because here's the thing, right? You know, like, my computer... Like when I run Skyrim normally, like without any mods, like zero mods, like maybe maybe a few bug fixes or whatever, it works perfectly fine. It runs normally. It runs like it's 60 FPS, no problem. But when I start adding mods and an ENB and everything like that, it it lags, it stutters, and it's annoying. But anyways, um, but I did did some testing. I am using Ultimate Versions ENB, the older version. Um. I'm using Ultimate Immersion's older version of his ENB. Uh, if you don't know, Ultimate Immersion is a, um, a fellow YouTuber who made his fame doing uh, Skyrim showcases and later decided to make a mod list for everyone to use and everything. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not, unfortunately, it's not on Webjack. Um, it's on his own, uh, their own website and he collabs with, um, ESO. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyways, um, but I'm not using their mod list. I kind of like to make my own mod list and anything like, and everything. Um, now whether or not I would make this about this public is probably up to debate. Um, but yeah. So what we are going to do, um, we are going to get these three items. <clears throat> um, so we need to find the Jade Warrior 2. Um, we need to go to Silent Moon's camp and Broken Helm. Hello. Let me actually look at my inventory. Okay, so I got plenty of inventory space left. All right. So I tested it around the... Um, blacksmith area because for some reason that in solitude that seems to be the the one place um where it happens to be the most is the stutter um i like 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 there like well you know what here's the thing i don't think i'm gonna care as much there. have you performed your voice exercises today always perfection takes dedication after all yes well See that you keep at it. That is all. Interesting. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So uh, I don't think... I, I mean, obviously, I care about FPS. Like, I think any anybody would care about FPS. Um, but because my computer is so bad and so old, it's like a, four years old at this point. It's... it's play with you anymore. You good, man? You're 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 stuck in the um uh place. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so uh, ultimately, um, I've tried everything. You know, even people within my community have tried, and at at this point, guys, don't even bother. It's just my computer, so I just need a new one at this point. Um, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. That's just how it is. As much as I want to admit it. As much as I hate to admit it. Should, um, my computer is just poor, poor. Tools, wares, and weapons. All for sale at fair prices. Oh, flying f Fucking hell. Oh, the wind blows bitter cold in this place. Okay. May your road lead you to warm sands. I don't know why your face gen is messed up there, guy. Oh, I know what it... I, I know what mod it ca is causing that. I know what mod is causing it. All right, so I'm gonna go to the rift first. Where do you want to go? 
Um, Riften. Climbing back and we'll be off. Have you ever met one of them cats? Khajiit, I think they called themselves. Well, I, hear I also got rid of... Down south. I also got rid of Windsong Immersive Character Overhaul. I mean, um, replaced it with Nordic Faces, I think that's what it's called. Um, I like it a lot better. It sticks true to vanilla. Instead of, because unfortunately, um, unfortunately, when some immersive character creatures overhaul, I hear a wolf. Anyways, in any case, <clears throat> take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. Don't lose it. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. Did you see someone run past just now? Uh, I assume this armor is yours. Yes. How did you get this? Uh, oh, never mind. Here, it's not much, but it's something. I'm going to track down that thief and murder him. Good luck with that. You won't leave Skyrim alive! You know what, I'll do it. Is yours, I submit. I'll mount your head on my wall. Even I'm missing. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh. I have those. I don't need those. Since I'm here, um, might as well get. Serpent stone, I think. I think that's in this general direction. Oh, hold on. Um, let me see here. Is Uthgird. Ash will catch up. You can kindly get fucks. P fuck, ma'am. Fuck you. You know what? Fuck you. You think you stand a chance? Oh.
Oh, there we go. I could have sworn there was a, um... Just here... Huckoo bird. Is this chest because I want it I want a particular armor oh here it is and this is a lot better than my current armor let's put that bad boy on right now Actually, well, I kind of like it. It's a, I mean, it's a look. It's definitely a look. Whatever. Definitely a look. Anyways, yeah, so this is going to be our armor moving forward <laughs> because it's very strong and very, very powerful. Come here, wolf. I need your pelt. So many wolves. What the fuck? You're a disgrace to your own oh, hello. You can kind of get effed. Get fucked. Oh, I also got rid of... Um... Uh... What's it called? Um, um, I got rid of, uh, off. um, I got rid of, um, uh, oh God, what's, what the fuck is the mod called? Um, this is going to drive me insane. Um, maximum Carnage. I got rid of that mod. Damn. It's like, man, I, I couldn't even remember that. What's wrong with me? Yeah, so I got rid of that mod just because I didn't want to get, you know, flags and, you know, and everything. As much as I hate, hate, hate to admit it, I just, you know. YouTube has changed so much, you know. I remember back back in the day when, you know, people didn't used to complain about getting, you know, age restricted. I say that, you know, and getting age restricted. And I mean, occasionally it would happen, you know, but I think YouTube has kind of cracked down on a lot of things. What the fuck? 
low. Uh oh. Well, their armor, unfortunately, is uh, <laughs> not useful to me. Spring can. <clears throat> but yeah, so overall, um, unfortunately, um, YouTube has changed to the point where we're kind of walking on eggshells a little bit with with YouTube. I was watching a video, and uh, I, I don't like talking about controversial things. It's not really my style, um, but. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm fully aware of, you know, the ad block, you know, thing going on right now. I just, uh, I just, I just decide not to talk about, oh my God, he's just, bubble. you will kindly get what shot and oh, good, goodbye. Um, but yeah, I'm fully aware of, because I, I've seen Penguin Zero, Charlie, um, uh, or as he calls it, Penguin Z-Zero. Well, I don't think it matters. I call him Penguin Zero, but whatever. Um, do, do I not have one of these? Um, uh, but yeah, I'm fully aware of the ad blocker fiasco and everything fully 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 aware get ready trouble ahead i'm pretty fully aware so i just decided not to talk about it Shrooms, these shrooms. Um, okay. I have one of these in the museum. One of those in the museum. that one um orc rip here not really i will take those and i will take those and i will take that i already have one of those i already have okay okay wait no i already read this before Luckily, And there it is. There's a six bell spellhammer. Oh, and frostbite. Um. Yeah, obviously for Morrowind. Never played Morrowind. You know, I want to. Which is actually a planned um. Planned playthrough that I'm doing in the future. So if you want to. 
subscribe to that. Subscribe for 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 that. Um, you know, feel free. Now I just gotta go to the reach. So I will actually. I actually need to pick up Armin's family sword as well. I might do that next episode though. <sighs> need a ride? Where do you want to go? Markarth. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Ever been to Markarth? I got an arrow in my side. I don't believe a word of it, though. Lousy stinking arrow. I don't want to pick up too much because reasons. It might be a shorter episode. I'm at 22 minutes right now. I just totally missed that shot. Take that. That. Um. Where did I kill the last guy? Yeah, where is he? Hold on. Can't see shit. I think that'll help. That's not helping much. Oh, there he is.
Well, I guess it worked out because punch him in bloody imperials. Let's get going. What do you need uh, to take? You need to take some stuff. Let's go. <coughs> All right. I assume there's no going to be no one there. Maybe. Who knows? It'll be really easy or what? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know. Hell, I can't see shit. <laughs> Do I have a torch? Do. I can't see crap. Oh, hello. Actually, before I do that, Because my archer needs to be better.
Might be a short episode. Might be a short episode. Ah, I'm glad you're here. I have come across a rare discovery indeed. I got word of a unique relic and was able to procure it from the cellar. Use it if you wish or place it on display. Bruh. <laughs> Good to see you again. Oh, you have? Excellent. Yes, I have just the place for this. Thank you. Here's your reward. I also found the sixth house, uh, sixth house bell hammer. Ah, phenomenal. Let me have a look. Ah, yes. Exactly as described. Good work. Here's your pay. And I also found Din Stag Stagmer's ring. Very good. And in excellent condition, it seems. Wonderful. That is very impressive, my friend. You are certainly more than a mere treasure hunter. Which brings me to my next proposal. I'm in need of a full-time partner of sorts. A person of your caliber who can dedicate themselves to uncovering more lost artifacts and relics on their own while I continue my research efforts. And you have proven yourself more than capable of the job. And I think a special arrangement could work. Instead of me simply buying the relics off of you, perhaps you could bring them here, lend them to the museum. I'll give you an occasional finder's fee and we'll <laughs> safeguard your collection for you. You'll be able to access any and all of your collection as you see fit, and you'll know the rest of it will be safe in your absence. Good to me. Excellent. Well, let me give you the Ten Septum Tour, then. What the hell? This building was once called Macnarian Hall and was built as a temple dedicated to Talos, the patron god of the Nords. After the White Gold concorded, it, however, the statue was moved and the temple closed. I came here a few years ago and was able to procure use of the space in the pursuit of establishing this museum. Of course, I have had the building vastly expanded over the last two years to accommodate what I hope will become one of the grandest collections of Tamrielic history in the world. This grand atrium I call the Hall of Heroes. It is where a variety of historically significant relics can be displayed, and is quite a striking entrance to the museum, if I do say so myself. Off to the right is the reception hall and staff barracks, as well as the museum office where I do much of my work. To our left, you'll find the central hallway leading to all the other galleries of the museum, which also serves as the cultural arts exhibit. Here, I hope to display a variety of art as well as elements representing the more primitive cultures here in Skyrim, such as the Falmer, Forsworn, the Giants, and more. Down here on the lower level, you will find access to the East Exhibit Halls, which houses the Daedric Gallery, the Hall of Lost Empires, Hall of Oddities, and the Hall of Legends, which showcase a vast array of relics pertaining to the Daedra, Dwemer, Fulmer, and ancient Nordic cultures, as well as a number of peculiar items that defy simple classification. At the close end of this hall, the stairwell will lead to the armories in the basement and up to the second floor. There you will find access to the Natural Science Gallery, as well as the Dragonborn Hall, where I will commission a variety of displays heralding any of your accomplishments. At the far end of the hallway on both floors, you'll find access to the Grand Library, and here, on this floor, the door on the right also connects to the museum office. If you cannot find me in my office, you will almost certainly find me whiling away the hours in the library. Also, you should pick up a copy of the museum guide at the entrance of the museum. It will let you know the schedule of where I'm working, should you need to find me, and it will offer you an easier way of navigating the museum, as well as keep track of how many displays our museum has. Of course, it may take me a moment to update those accounts, so check the guide again if you feel the numbers seem off. I'm sure I'll eventually account for everything. 
Any items you find for display, you can either manually place them yourself, or utilize the prep station in my office. And I'll ensure everything you have gets properly displayed if it has an appropriate place. I'm likely to have a variety of tasks for you, but in between, I'm sure you could help me find a random relic or two I've been researching. Feel free to look around and come find me if you have any questions. I'm very excited about the prospects of where we are headed. How can I help? What's the story with the sword and with, with the sword in the office? Ah, yes, that would be my personal sword, Idrasorn, meaning ancestral edge. What? Don't picture me as the swashbuckling type. <laughs> I assure you, I am just as capable with the blade as I am with the book. I just don't often find much call to employ the former, and so it remains in a place of honor and remembrance for me. This central area is called the Hall of Heroes, and it's where I've designed display space for relics of a powerful magic nature and or historical significance. I've done a great deal of research about the artifacts of Tamriel at large, and created displays for a variety of relics should you happen upon them in your travels. Like I mentioned, it seems many unlikely relics are gravitating here, and you may happen across them. Why do you think magical relics are coming here? Well, the most obvious reason for many relics to be appearing here in Skyrim is of course the refugees from Morrowind coming here by way of Saltheim. After the Red Mountain erupted in the Fourth Era, Year 5, called the Red Year, most of Vardenfell was evacuated, and the relics from the Museum of Mournhold were lost, hidden, looted, and more. Beyond that, I have observed that throughout history, a variety of prominent artifacts have always seemed to be the key players during times of great change, when great heroes would arise to overcome terrible events and rise to greatness in fulfillment of prophecy or destiny. The coming of the Nerevarine and the Eternal Champion are perfect examples of this. See you around. Do you have a qu- Very simple. You keep doing what you're doing and stop in here from time to time if you find anything interesting. Have a look around and find the spot to display it. In addition to displaying the spoils of your adventures, I will commission and build exhibits based on those exploits. Anything of relevant consequence can be inspiring to the people. Where should I put up displays? Well, here in the Hall of Heroes is where you should place any artifact of magical or historical nature. The Daedra Gallery, of course, is where anything related to the Daedra should go. And the Hall of Lost Empires is where you should display any and all items of Dwemer or Falmer nature. The armories you can display as you see fit. Lastly, the Gallery of Natural Science. If you bring some samples of flora and fauna, you can build fauna displays and plant the flora. Anything new for me? Oh yes, I have in fact been researching the location of an artifact of interest. If you have the time, you could investigate it. I'll mark the location on your map. Let me know if you uncover anything. See you around. God damn it. Not hold on. Oh, what is it? Sapphire Claw. Yep. Now, the Ebony Claw. Let's take a look at Skull Crusher real quick. Huh, interesting. Bum, bum, bum. I'm still here. Lead on then. What do you need to take? A lot of things. Hold on. Oh. 
Oh. What do you need to take? Let's go. <clears throat> All right, so I need of course I need one more steel ingot, ingot and two more little strips. The fuck? I need an ebony ingot for this. And I need three bone meal and two clay. Okay. Cool. Um. I like this sword. In case. Ha ha ha. This is also 18. Could sell this. Well, at least I'm going up to getting up in displays and everything, so. Um, okay, so I have one Dragon Claw over there. This is Isgamore's armor. I probably need to join the companions for that. Ah, uh, my friend. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I don't want I wanted that. Uh, oh, yeah, right. There's one more place that I want to go to. Um, what was it? Okay. Of science. Like a board hall. Full of secrets. This is where I will do all of the unsavory natures. Anyways. Excuse me. Sorry. Good day. What's the story about with the hidden room under under the Dragonborn Hall? Oh, the Hall of Secrets. I had all but forgotten about it, to be honest. When we broke ground on the foundation of the museum expansion, we accidentally broke through into a sealed-off chamber that was built under the Pelagius Wing of the Blue Palace. When I asked them about it, it apparently used to be some sort of panic room for Pelagius when he was in one of his more violent manic episodes. They sealed hmm. it off long before the rest of the wing and forgot all about it. 
I asked for permission to use the room as a bit of a secret storage vault in case Solitude was ever invaded. I would store the relics there and lock down the museum. They gave permission and I had the tunnel finished and access in the hall made. Could I use it as a private display away, away from prying eyes? Hmm, certainly. I suppose if you are ever in need of a place to store items of a more mm, questionable nature, that room would be ideal. I'll go ahead and outfit it for you, but I'll take a nobody asks, nobody tells approach to it, and you do with the room as you like. And I won't plan on taking any tours down there either. <laughs> I should have it all cleaned up for you by tomorrow. Cool. See you around. Did I? Oh, yeah. Okay. No. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. Huh. Is it, though? I don't know. All right. Oh, there goes my animations breaking again. do is I'll get some stuff for um cause, uh, what else wh what do I need I need um steel ingot leather strips I need a silver ingot which and obviously I don't I can't do anything with it without an empty you know what else all right. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways. Oh. Oh. Okay. Never mind then. Never mind. I thought that was something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard the big I saw the big warnings and I was like, oh, okay, so it just shine. um relic transfer station. Shipment planner. Well, I have to um, obviously do a lot of things, so but anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed and make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, and uh yeah. Oh, and uh on before I do that. Um, anyways, anyways, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.